Hi guys, my name is Abba and welcome back to my amazing kitchen. Today we are making some lovely beef kebabs which you may know as chinchinga or suya. But they are so easy to make and are absolutely amazingly delicious. So come along and let's get right into the video. So for our beef kebabs, we are going to need some beef and I'm using a flank steak, but you can use any cuts of beef that cooks faster. All right. So before anything else, we are going to tenderize our meat and I do that by bashing on it a few times with my tapoli, but you can use a rolling pin or anything else that gets the job done. So if you have a meat tenderizer, you can definitely use that too. Now cut your beef into bite-sized pieces. You don't want to make them too big because you want them to cook faster. Also try to cut your beef into same sizes so they cook evenly. Now transfer your beef into a bowl and go ahead to clean it any way that you prefer to clean your beef. And if you have no idea, check out my beef stir fry video to see how I clean mine. To marinate our beef, we will need some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt, and of course, a suya powder and some peanut oil. So add your salt, garlic powder and onion powder to your beef. Go ahead and add your suya powder and make sure to use a very good quality suya powder. And then add your peanut oil or any oil of your choice. Now massage all your spices or seasonings into your beef so that every single beef is well coated. We are making suya so you want to make sure that it is well seasoned. Cover with some cling film and allow this to marinate for about an hour or two hours before you proceed. In the meantime, I'm going to prep my veggies so that once my beef is done marinating, we can just go ahead and grill our meat. The abochi in Ghana will probably just use some onions or maybe nothing at all but it's homemade so you can feel free to do it any way that you want. So I'm going to be using some red and white onion and a combination of some bell peppers. The sweetness of the bell peppers complements the beef so well and aside that it makes it very colorful too. Chop your onions and your bell peppers into squares but don't make them too small or they will break whilst you try to put the skewer in there. So not too big but also not too small. Keep it the same size as your meat. After chopping my onions, I try to separate them so I have single onions and it makes it easy to put it on the skewer. So now transfer all your chopped vegetables into a bowl, set it aside and proceed with the next step. In a bowl, you want to add about 2 to 3 teaspoons of some suya powder and add enough oil to loosen it up. Now stir very well and set it aside for later. I will be using these metal skewers and bamboo skewers, but please make sure to soak your bamboo skewers in some cold water for like 10 to 15 minutes so they don't burn during the grilling process. So in this step, I'm going to skew my meat. So I take an onion, skew on a meat, take a vegetable and take another meat. There is no right or wrong way in doing this. Just use your imagination and creativity to do it any way that you prefer. The idea is to have meat and vegetables skewed on a skewer. So just try to make this as pretty as possible. And this is the reason why using a mixture of the bell peppers makes it so beautiful and colorful. So you don't have to use it, but when you do it this way, it makes it very beautiful and pleasing to the eye. Now just look at this. Is it not calling your name already? <laughs> now go ahead and repeat the process until all your meat is used up. I used about 4 pieces of meat per skewer. So after all your meat is skewed on, you want to go ahead and powder these kebabs with some more of the suya powder. 
after all we are making suya so there is nothing like too much suya over here anamebua <laughs> Today I'm going to be grilling my beef kebabs in my oven but you can do this on your stove top in your grill pan or even on the barbecue. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange this on my oven rack since we are using our oven today. And at this point I am already preheating my oven at 180 degrees celsius. So in this step you remember the suya and the oil mixture we set aside yes with a brush i'm going to brush it on my beef kebabs and this will prevent it from going dry in the oven eh, because <laughs> so you really want to do this and it will give you a very juicy and moist kebab so after i am done brushing on the oil and the suya mixture i'm going to pop this into my oven and grill this for about 25 to 30 minutes so at this point, my kebab has been cooking for about 15 minutes. So I take it out of the oven and brush it with some more of the suya and oil mixture to prevent them from drying out. This is a very important and necessary step if you want your kebabs to be very juicy and moist. After I am done brushing, I pop it back into the oven and cook it for an additional 10 minutes. And here we are, our beef kebabs, chinchinga, or suya, all done, ready to be devoured. I allow this to cool down slightly so I can touch them. Now I transfer them onto my plate, ready to serve this with whatever you want to serve this with. But just before I do that, I'm going to powder it with some more suya spice. Now if you love this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe and become part of the amazing family today. And if you have already done that, I want to say a very big thank you to you always. Now just look at this juicy beef kebab. Is it calling your name or what? Eh? How many can you eat at a go? Let me know in the comment section down below. But as for me, I can finish this all by myself. <laughs> so until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, cook this beef kebab with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!